and this test we're looking at comparing and ordering fractions, but this time the denominators are multiples of the same number. So the denominators here are different numbers, um, but they're multiples, they're in the same times table. So it'll help us out a little bit. So I've got to decide, I'm comparing, I've got to decide which is the biggest of these two fractions. I could draw them. So I could draw my three quarters. One, two, three, and I could draw my eight, so if I split it into four and four again, I could draw my seven eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eights. By drawing them, I can see straight away that this fraction, this has got the most, more than three quarters, this is the bigger fraction. So I can do it that way is great if they're easy to draw but if I get to odd numbers like sevens it's quite tricky to draw so I've got to think of a different way so drawing's great to start us off let's have a look at how we did this one without the drawing so I've got three quarters and I've got seven eighths I need to make these the same denominator so I know that four goes into eight so I'm going to use that I'll keep my seven eighths, and I know that four can be multiplied to make eight. And I multiply it twice, so four times two makes eight. And if I'm gonna do that to the denominator, I have to do the same to the numerator, the top number in the fraction. So three times two is six. So this time, I've changed them, so the denominators are the same, and I can see that just as we said before with the picture, seven eighths is bigger than six eighths. And that works with any fraction. So I could do three fifths, or I don't know, four tenths. So it looks like four tenths should be the biggest because it's got a bigger number at the bottom, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna keep my tenths because I know that five goes into 10. And then I need to change this fraction into tenths. Five times by two is 10. Three times by two is six. So I can see now that the bigger fraction is this one. Three fifths is bigger than four tenths. I'll try one more. Seven ninths or shall we try? Seven nines are eight eighteen, so I can keep my 18 because nine goes into 18. How many times? It's twice. Nine times two is 18. Seven times two is 21. 21 is bigger than eight, so this is a bigger fraction. Seven nines is bigger than eight eighths. Um, I'll do one just where well, we're not multiplying by two each time. So let's try three fifths and nine twentieths. So which is the bigger? I can keep, I know that five goes into 20, so I can keep the 20. How many times does five go into 20? Well, five times four is 20. 3 times 4 is 12, so the bigger of the two fractions is 12 twentieths is bigger than 9 twentieths, so 3 fifths is bigger than 9 twentieths.